Hey guys, Jables here. Got another deck profile. I'm gonna do. Uh, ever since regionals, I got rid of my Constellars and just been working on random other decks as of late. Uh, so this is one of them. I've been playing Light Swarms or Plant Swarms, how you, however you want to see them. Light Swarms with the Plant Engine. I'm uh, gonna get right into it. Triple, triple, Judgment Dragon. Enough said about Judgment Dragon, we all know what he does, and we've probably been beaten by him a few times in our Yu-Gi-Oh! careers. Uh, two Lylas. Uh, Lila. Uh, just run, just run two, don't really need any more than that in this. Two Lumina. Uh, could run it at three, was running it at three, went down to two just to make room for other things. Uh, works just fine. Uh, I'm not really. This is the first time I've ever played Light Sword, so I'm not sure exactly how good or bad this build really is. It's been play testing pretty good against me, or for me I, uh, here lately. But uh, like I said, I've never played Light Sword before. I've actually decked myself out several times, several matches I've decked out. I'm like shit. But uh, I hate milling, but I'm playing a milling deck for some whatever reason. Uh, one Garoth, one Jane, and one Aaron. Never ever use Garoth, but he's there. Like the only time I've ever used him is for Solar Recharge. But he's 1850 in case I just need an 1850 beater. Uh, next, two Rikos. Riko is Riko. And finally, the Light Swim part. Two wolves. Uh, some people tell me not to run wolf. Some people like wolf. I personally uh, like him. I actually mill him so much in this deck because I mill like crazy because I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, but I like wolf. It's like a good feeling when you mill wolf because it's free special summon. If you draw him, you can discard him for uh, solar recharge. You can discard him for monster reincarnation, lumina. Like he just. I like him, uh, so I run him at two. May bump him down to one. I'm not sure, but two right now. One honest light deck. Uh, next, three necro gardeners. Necro gardener, get that stall in your graveyard. Good graveyard setup. Two card troopers. More milling for the deck and draw power. I cannot stress enough how much I hate milling, and yet I picked this deck up, and I'm playing it, and I hate milling because I always mill something I need. That's why I never side decked Rikos before in any decks I played. Uh, never used milling cards, but that's what this deck is based around. So I just wanted to play it, but I hate milling. But you know, you gotta mill in this deck. Uh, next, a Plant Engine, Lone Fire, Dandy, and Spore with the debris dragons I guess that is the plant engine plant engine really helps with all the milling you do you'll hit dandelion get tokens going to formula going to stardust going to your synchros exceeds I synchro this deck more now you exceed uh, don't run shooting star because I don't have one and not really sure if I'd run one or not this deck can win easily without it because all you need is judgment dragon uh, next one quill bolt I actually like Quillbolt because it helps get my armory arm plays easier. If I just go Plague Spreader and then Quillbolt, then there's Armory Arm. And then there's two Plague Spreaders now. Uh, I just put two in here because he went up to two and he's good to have in Grave. You can put Wolf back on top of deck and then summon a Light Sworn. In phase Mill Wolf. So he's good for that. Uh, go into Synchro plays, go into Armory Arm plays. If I had gachi gachis in here, I guess I could go into gachi gachi. Uh, one, one Phantom of Chaos. This guy is all right. Uh, I don't want to run him. I don't want to run more than one because he's really. I don't. I don't want to have more than. I don't want to see him that often. But I don't want to not run him at all because there's those moments whenever my opponents like I'm versing car curries, they spam the field and then end with Stardust and like three car curry synchros. You just banish Judgment Dragon, run over Stardust, and then an effect to nuke the field. 
So he's good for those situations like that when you just need to get out of something. And he's a good target you can banish for BLS. But for more than one, I don't really like him. But then again, like I said, I'm new to Light Swords. I'm not sure if he's used at all, if he's used a lot, if he's ran more than this. Uh, but I just like him at one. Uh, one Gores. Little to no back row at all. And of course, this big motherfucker here, BLS. I hate this guy, but you gotta run him because it's BLS. Lights and darks and shit. That's it for monster count. Don't know how many that is. It's a lot of damn monsters. Not that many spells. And even little traps. One charge of the light brigade. And three solar recharge. You're searching and draw power plus more milling power. I always mill these. Except for one game, I used three in one turn, and then that was the game that I decked out. I was like, well, I shouldn't have done that. Three monster reincarnations. Some people tell me not to use this. I love it. It's like my win condition in the deck because I mill everything I need. I'll monster reincarnate back BLS, get back JDs, double JDs maybe sometimes. You know, it's just really good card. You get rid of those Necro Gardeners and Wolves out of hand. Uh, sometimes you throw, you can throw your plants in the grave. It's a really good card. Some people tell me that three is too many. Uh, some people run three. It's just player preference, I guess. But I like three. Three works great. Plus, you know, I mill them. I mill most of them most of the time. I only get to use one to duel anyway. One foolish. Throw your plants in the grave or that extra light sword if you need one more for JD. Or throw a dark and grave in case you need BLS. Dark hole because it's dark hole. And the final card, one treacherous trap hole because it's the only trap in the deck. This makes the deck 41. I just got this last week and was like I just threw it in here. Made it 41. Didn't even try to take anything out. So running at 41. Uh, extra deck. Levier. Cowboy. Chain. Constellar Omega that for exceeds for synchros formula army arm cataster librarian iron chain for the debris dragon in case I just have to go into a six uh, but iron chain you have to really be careful with him now because a lot of decks go off the graveyard and you might end up helping them with him but I still like to have him just in case I need a quick six because I don't have Orient Dragon. Uh, then there's Gaia Knight, Ancient Fairy Dragon. It's my only level seven because I sold my Black Rose because I wanted money. I didn't need money, but I wanted it, so I got rid of it. Stardust Dragon, Thought Roller Archfiend, Scrap Dragon, and Crimson Blader. Uh, and of course, some of the most important part of the deck got your tokens for your dandelion and the gorse token but that's the deck guys like I said, it's just really a fun deck more or less I'm just doing fun decks right now after all the build up to regionals I'm kinda out of a competitive mood so I'm just playing around with decks and then light storms are getting more support so I'll get to try out new builds with it I'm still learning the deck even though I played it basically since regionals the day after regionals it's a fun deck. It's always fun to sack with JD, except your opponent don't think so. But anyway, guys, until next time.